some people do do scrape, particularly those who have bad breath. Mm -hmm. They do scrape, okay. but mainly for your general routine, general oral hygiene, cleanliness, it is brushing. Okay, so and what you described brushing. now is just the regular way to brush teeth. Yes. From, so if someone for does that. Bottom teeth upwards. For the top teeth, you brush downwards, and then you scrub the uh, biting So, so if a person does that, does it mean that you are likely not to have gum disease ever? Well, in addition to that, we we'll need to also do clean in between the teeth. That too is an area that can be missed from the, with, with brushing. And that is why we need to use what we call dental floss. Uh, dental floss is a thread-like material that we can introduce in between the teeth and then use it to clean. Okay, so hold the teeth for me. Okay. Let me see whether we can get this. Okay. You bring out some, right? You take about a, ruler's le a ruler and a half. Okay. A ruler and a half's length. And then, and then there, roll it in between. in between your fingers and then it is... And pass it in between the teeth, And right? pass it in between the teeth. I can demonstrate this quickly. This is just this is just a short one. So it is passed in between the teeth, right down to the gums, and then you it move is it about. move it into and out of that space until you get to the top. You introduce it into the next space. Oh, you have huh? to do that for every, every tooth? Every tooth. It has to be done for every tooth because every area has the potential to accumulate plaque in that, in that area. Okay. It has the potential to accumulate plaque. And in fact, those are the areas that tend to have a lot of plaque. The areas that the brush can get to do not tend to have a lot of plaque. It is the area in between the teeth. I tend to have a lot and of this plaque. And this plaque is a solid material, isn't it? It's not, it's not completely solid. It becomes solid when, we call, when, it, when it gets mineralized. Okay. In other words... Let, let's go on a short break. When okay. we come back, we will continue with this. Okay. Please stay with us. We're going on a short break for just a minute. Stay with us. Welcome back. We're talking about gum disease with Dr. Ayambadijo. And um, I wanted to ask, oh, by the way, you can call in. The number to call is 0808-054-2233 if you have questions on the topic. Just let me have the teeth for a while. Isn't there any provision for doing this? I'm going to demonstrate. No. That's not good. It's not good. You don't brush across. You don't brush across. How about a gentle massage on the gums? Because these are some of the things I've been hearing. Yes, the gentle massage is, that is why I said it, you can still, that massage, you can still do this. And then sweep the, up. And then sweep up. Okay. Huh? And then sweep up for the massage. Hmm? And mind you, the, the texture of the brush should be soft or medium, not hard. So why do they make hard, hard brushes? It's unfortunate that that is what, in, in most cases, there, that's what is available in the market. But we, we do have the medium and the soft ones. Soft and medium. Yes. Any, any the, reason for a person to use either one or the other? Are some people supposed to use soft brushes, some others medium brushes, or it's just well, as, um, you as you choose? It's, there's no hard, hard and fast rule. But because we tend to have a little bit of fuss while brushing, the softer one will, will wear out quickly. The brushes will wear out quicker. Hmm? And then it may not be as effective when it's once the um, toothbrush bristles are bent. Okay. So you tend to even want to use it a lot more, and that also would also aggravate the problem. Okay, we're getting a phone call. Hello? Hello? Are you there? Okay. Hello. Okafo, what's your question? Hello, yeah. We can hear you. Go ahead. Hello. Hello. Go ahead. Hello. We can hear you, sir. Yeah, Ask I your question. I have a problem with this. Um, hello. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Hello. Oh yes, I can. I can hear you. Too. My question is this: Can one do? What can one do about this gum disease? Okay. What can one do about this gum disease issue? 
especially when one is very, very conscious of oral hygiene. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much, Okafo. But I think you just explained that about the brushing technique. Yes, the right? brushing tech, your brushing technique, and then one must also floss daily. But the flossing too must be done in a way that it doesn't injure the gums. You, one should introduce the floss towards the base of that space, and then one tries to disengage that plaque on the two surfaces. The one before and the one after, and the one after it. So you're working on two surfaces at, when, the, at, at, at each, each space, time. At each at each space. Then in you can addition, do a rinse after. Yes, the you can flossing. do a rinse. You can do a rinse. In addition to that, because you cannot totally clean out every aspect of your teeth, we need to visit the dentist, even if it is we rec the ideal is uh, recommended is twice a year. So but you if don't you wait can't, for pain, you, you don't, don't wait, wait for, for pain. Cares. You don't wait you just for pain. Visit. That's the problem with gum disease. It does not cause pain initially. It does not cause pain. The most frequent symptom is that 